Hey everyone, I'm Tiff, fellow autism mom of two and founder of Spectrum Surprise Subscription Box for kids. Today I'm going to show you everything that is in the November 2019 subscription box. So let's dive on in. The first thing you'll see in the top is this craft packet. And um, we started the crafts last month and because of all the great feedback, I'm going to continue it. Sounds like a lot of you really enjoyed this. Um, it's a great, easy achievement for your kids, something that they can be proud of, boost their confidence, and something that you can do with them or they can do together with their siblings. So um, just a great idea uh, for kids to have little crafts to do. So you'll have this packet. Sorry, guys, it's in a Ziploc. <laughs> but I'm trying to find a packaging solution that will work. Um, so just bear with me. So you'll see this roll of craft foam. Um, a wooden frame and uh, these are foam stickers that are fall and Thanksgiving themed. So you'll have little instructions here that show you the two items that you can make. Um, there's this little fall uh, wooden frame so you can put a picture in there or a drawing and then there is this. Uh, this can either be a placemat or a wall hanging that you can make with the craft foam. So those are the two very simple and quick uh, crafts for the month. Um, like I said, just something super easy for your kids to do and be proud of um, and also get them a little bit excited about Thanksgiving. The next thing you should see in there is the autism awareness item, which is a keychain this month. Um, it's in this tiny package, so make sure that you don't lose it in, in the uh, crinkle paper. Uh, here's one that's out of the package. Uh, there's a couple different styles. There's this one with the puzzle piece and it says autism. And then there's also a ribbon uh, that is made of the puzzle pieces. So um, surprise which one you'll get. But uh, that is the item. Your kid can put it on their backpack or you can put it on your keychain. If you want to swipe it from them, that's up to you. <laughs> so let's see our sensory items. Uh, first thing here we have is uh, a slipster. Uh, these are, I always knew them as water snakes, but Orb wants to call them slipsters. So here's one that's out of the package. Uh, it has this, uh, I don't know what you would call this, shiny, uh, iridescent type ribbon stuff inside of it. So it's cool for uh, visual sensory input. And you can see it just kind of like slips through your fingers as you move it back and forth. Um, it's very squishy and it's just a great sensory toy. Um, I know that your kids are going to have plenty of fun with that. The next thing we have is a smushy mushy. Um, these, I'm going to show you an open one just so you can see everything that's inside of it. Um, so here's one that I've already opened. These are the best smelling smushies ever. Um, they literally like smell like desserts. So I'm just going to pour everything out and put the lid back on so you can see that is the cup that it comes in. And this is the large smushy, like I guess it's the pet. <laughs> so this is your smushy pet. Um, it's a little skunk with a dessert on his head. Um, and you can see this little loop over here. That is to put one of the bead keychains through. So there's two little bead keychains in here. Um, it also comes with this tiny cup. So there's the large cup and then there's this tiny one. Um, there's a bottle, there's a hot chocolate cup, and there is an ice cream cone. So these are assorted um, hit and miss which one you get. <laughs> so um, you have these two little keychains so that you can put one on here and also one on the bestie. So this is called a bestie. It's just a miniature smushy that is this guy's best friend, I guess. Um, <laughs> but each of them have the little hoop thing on there. So that you can attach them to a backpack, to a belt loop, um, keychain, whatever. I do have one on my keychain, one of the besties, because it's small and it's nice just in case I end up somewhere without a smushy, which never happens. But just in case, <laughs> I do have one on my keychain. So, um, But that would be a great little item for your kid to carry along on the go. Um, the keychain makes it perfect. And like I said, these things just smell so amazing. I could smell them all day, but probably get a headache from it, so I won't. But that is your smushy mushy set. Next up, we have some tangerine slime. Um, one of these days, I will figure out how to use the camera on here. Um, so I did put a little warning on there. Do not eat, just in case. 
Um, this does smell super yummy. Um, I'll show you an open one here. Um, I would consider this like a cloud slime. It does have the um, instant snow in it. So it has kind of this cloud texture. It's super soft and fluffy, but it's not like a full cloud slime like some of the classic cloud slimes out there um, that kind of like fall apart. Um, it's not going to drizzle everywhere on everything. It does have some drizzle, but it's not it's not horrible unless you really try to make it super drizzly. So um, it's a completely different texture than just regular slime. So hopefully your kiddos will enjoy that. Also, it is scented with tangerine essential oil. So it's all natural. Um, it's not artificial scent. And uh, tangerine essential oil is actually a natural mood booster. So keep that one in mind. <laughs> if your kid is having a rough day, um, it might be a good idea to pull that out and boost their mood a little bit. Uh, so another thing we have in there is this. These are Wacky Tracks. Wacky Tracks are one of my favorite fidgets. They are so clicky. I could just sit here and do this all day because it's so much fun. Um, but you can like obviously make different shapes with it. You can pull the pieces apart. So be careful if you do have small kids um, that stick things in their mouths. They are difficult to get apart, but I also know that a lot of our kiddos can figure these things out uh, easier than we would think they could. If that annoys you, I'm sorry, but your kid might really love it. So <laughs> that's what's important here. Um, so that is the Wacky Tracks. You can make different shapes with it. You can take it apart, like I said, um, but it is difficult to get it apart. But it is a super fun little uh, fidget that is um, great for on the go. You can attach it to something just by, you know, kind of clicking it onto something like a loop. Um, but probably not the best thing to have in the classroom. <laughs> Maybe at lunchtime. You'll have to let me know about that. So there's that one. Next thing we have is these, um, are these textured stretchy noodles. So... These ones are so much more fun than just the classic stretchy noodles, like monkey noodles, what a lot of them are called. They have a little ball grip on the end, so um, it's easier to grip them, um, as if they weren't grippy anyways. But the, the little ball grip just adds another little you know, sensory element to it. And these come with different textures, which are obviously super fun and great for tactile input. And because it is a super stretchy um, item, it is actually great for proprioceptive input. So if you have a kiddo that seeks proprioceptive input, um, that would be things like heavy work and um, pushing against things, uh, constantly wanting to hug and uh, crash into things, stuff like that. Um, proprioceptive input is most likely what they're looking for, and this is great for that. And let's see what else we have. Okay, so here's the good one. <laughs> I say the good one. They're all good, but like this is my favorite. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it comes in a box. So here is the package. It is an LED color changing moonlight. And it's not going to show up too well here because it is light in here, but you can see a little bit that it is changing colors. Um, it's operated by switch on the bottom, so there is an on-off switch. This battery pack has a screw on it, so this is safe to give to your kid just like this. They can turn it on and off, but warning. I hope you guys read the warnings that I put in these because um, I actually put a second warning card in there this time because of this, just to be safe. Um, the remote contains a button cell battery. And uh, if you don't already know this, those can be harmful, especially if swallowed. They can actually be fatal. Um, so if you have a kid that is going to um, have an issue with that button cell battery, <laughs> um, keep this away from them in all seriousness um, because it, it is difficult. Like I have tried actually opening the battery pack on this and I've had to use a screwdriver, but um, 
I wouldn't take a chance if your kid is going to, you know, possibly put that battery in their mouth. Um, especially if you have a nonverbal child that cannot tell you. So just keep the remote away from your kids. Um, this, like I said, it turns on and off with the switch on the bottom. So you don't need the remote, but I put it in there because it came in the box. <laughs> I'm not going to take something out of the box. Um, but I did put an extra warning in there just so you guys see that. Um, so use your judgment, please. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Um, so, um, this has a button cell battery. Just making sure you got that. <laughs> Don't give that to your kiddos. But if you do use the remote, like you can obviously, you know, keep the remote out of reach and you can turn it for them because um, it has different modes. Like if they if they like one particular color, you can make it stay on a certain color um, or you can make it, you know, brighter or duller, different things that you can do with the remote, but you really don't need this. This by itself is an awesome sensory room addition or just, you know, for your kid's bedroom. Um, so just make sure you keep an eye on that remote. Next. <laughs> so that is it for the sensory items. Oh no. Yes, that is, that is, this is actually a bonus. Um, it's upside down on the other side. So there we go. It was right side up to me. Um, I just put this extra little eraser in there because I like throwing bonuses in your boxes. Um, and here's a little trick for you guys. Um, I know a lot of us have kids that pick um, and specifically that pick skin. Um, one of my sons still struggles with this a lot. And um, he'll just sit there and pick the skin on his fingers constantly. But this has helped him a lot. Um, we use the frosted bouncy balls um, little glycerin soaps and also these erasers, um, certain erasers like these kind that are translucent pick apart really easily. And, um, you know, obviously your kid can use this as, as an eraser also, <laughs> but if you have a picker, you might try this with them, um, and just see if this helps to lessen their picking. Um, I noticed that my son does his picking a lot when he doesn't have you know, something else going on. Like if he's sitting there watching TV, which is a rare occurrence, but it does happen. And when he zones out to watch TV or just before bedtime, when he's laying down still and quiet and doesn't actually have something to do, he will start picking a lot more. And so during those times, I will give him a frosted bouncy ball or a giant eraser or um, a glycerin soap, something that he can pick at real easily with his fingers um, instead of picking his skin. So that is just a little tip for you, something that you might use this for um, if you have a picker. If not, it's a really cool eraser. So there's that. And the last thing we have is the travel sensory kit. Sorry, I did not unpackage this already, so it's going to be loud for a second here. This month it is pumpkin pie. <laughs> so because Thanksgiving is right around the corner later on this month, um, I made it pumpkin pie travel sensory kit. So this has two kinds of Play-Doh in it. This is uh, pumpkin pie filling, and this is basically like a, um, a pie crust. So um, it's scented like vanilla, and it does have real spices in it. So you'll see some dots in your Play-Doh. That is just spices. <laughs> don't be don't be alarmed, you know, oh, did she drop this on the floor? No, I did not. Um, it's just made with natural ingredients. So don't be surprised when you see that. You also have a little um, cookie cutter in here so you can, you know, your kiddos can make little pumpkin shapes. Um, there's also these acrylic pumpkins and I don't know what kind of pumpkins these are, but they're fun little pumpkins <laughs> and also some glittery pumpkins. So it's all just pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. And it smells like a pumpkin pie. So <laughs> added bonus. Um, so that is the travel sensory kit for the month. You can um, do all sorts of fun things with this. In fact, I'm probably going to, um, I'll try to make a video on this. If not, I will at least take some pictures and upload them. So make sure you're following me on Facebook um, if you're not already. Because I will definitely upload some pictures of different things that you can do uh, with this particular sensory kit that will be loads and loads of fun. So that's it for the month guys. I hope your kiddos are super thrilled. Um, like I said, once again, please make sure you read the warnings that I put into these boxes. 
Um, I do that just because, you know, there may be something that um, your kid doesn't typically use or that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Um, a lot of sensory items um, that provide awesome sensory input do have, you know, small safety issues <laughs> with them that we might not think of otherwise. Um, for example, I have this going right now. <laughs> this is one of my favorite little uh, sensory lights that I find very calming. Um, and um, while it's a great sensory item, and this would be a wonderful gift for like any of our kids, basically, it is made of glass. And a lot of us wouldn't think of that. And um, while it provides amazing sensory input, we also have to be safe on the other hand, and think of what could possibly happen if this were, say, dropped onto a hard surface or thrown against a wall in a moment of anger or things like that. So we just have to be cautious and make sure we're using our sensory items in safe ways. Um, so even items like this that do contain glass can be safe as long as we are using them safely. So be safe with those moon lamp remotes, and I hope your kiddos absolutely love them. Please let me know. I love to hear your uh, your feedback either on Facebook or on here or on Instagram. Uh, make sure you're following me on my social media accounts and hit subscribe so that you can get notifications about these new videos each month. And hopefully I'll start making more videos about other um, topics related to autism and not just about sensory boxes. So that will be coming up in the future, hopefully the near future. So um, any feedback on what type of videos you guys would like to see would also be helpful and would help speed up that process. So happy sensory play, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.